Now I will show you some of the menus on the touch screen. They are pretty intuitive, but I will run you through a few of these menus. You can see there's options for copy and scan. You can print and scan to a USB drive, and there's a print queue. On the copy screen, you will get some choices, and these are like presets um, based on the type of document that you're going to copy. So you, you have the choice of black and white scans, color lines, mixed content if you have some images in lines, and then an image. Over here on the right, you can choose the number of copies that you want and the collation order. After you choose a preset, you hit the copy button, and then you feed in your document face up on the scanner. When you go to feed in your print, you want it to be face up, and you want to center it on the scanner. There are some markings on the scanner that indicate the size of the print that you're feeding. But basically, you want to feed it center the best you can. And then you feed it in and hold it there until the scanner grabs the print. If you're making a copy, it will automatically feed through the document and run a copy out to the stacker. The scanner will hold on to your original print until you hit the release button on the touchscreen. So once, once you're ready to release the print, hit the release page button. Now I will show you how to scan the file. After you press the scan button, you'll get some options. You can scan to a USB drive. You can scan to a network folder or a file server. If you have the SmartStream software, you can scan directly to the software. Or you can scan to directly email. For this demonstration, we'll scan to a USB drive. On the right-hand side of the screen, there's a USB port. You just insert your USB drive and then press the scan to USB drive icon. On this screen, you have different presets to choose depending on the type of document you're scanning. You have choices from black and white lines, color lines, mixed content or image. And then on the right, you have choices of the file format. You can scan to a JPEG, a PDF, or a TIFF file. And then you also have choices to scan to single page files or multi-page files. Down below, you have an option to change the file name. If you tap on that box, you'll get a keyboard, and you can type in the name you like. Now, when you're ready, press the Scan button. When you feed the original print through, you want to feed it face up and try to center the paper on the scan cover. And then feed the print into the scanner and hold it until it grabs the print. As the scanner feeds the paper, the original print will come down below the scanner. The scanner will hold on to the print until you hit the release button on the touchscreen. On this next screen, you'll get a preview of the image and you'll see there's a release page button at the bottom. You can zoom in and pan the image around to check the quality. And when you're finished, just hit the finish button. Thank you for watching our video and I hope it helps you with your new printer.